Challenges for the safety learning system came from a combination of lessons we were learning about mortalities at Mayo Clinic and the need to actually get to a more meaningful, actionable space to improve care for patients who not only died in our facility, but all patients who come forward. We started our mortality review work in about 2003 because we were recognizing that we weren't creating any action from whatever lesson we were learning. So if you think about an iceberg, the tip of the iceberg is a very, very small piece and everyone knows that the iceberg is much bigger under the water. So we viewed what we were learning in patient safety and in quality improvement as the tip of the iceberg. But anyone who practices in the facilities, in the outpatient setting, the nursing home or the hospital knows that there is a whole lot more going under, on underneath that water line. We wanted to learn about what was going on there. But none of us in healthcare have training to do that kind of learning. So we spent a lot of years trying to figure out how do you learn from patients who have gone before us? How do you learn from every death? How do you honor every life? And how do you make sure that every story is told from every patient? That took a long time to figure out, years to figure out. And what we started recognizing is that the biggest issues that we have something we can actually fix, the things that we can make a difference with for thousands of lives that come after the one we just reviewed that was in the hospital, are actually the omissions, not the commissions. They're the things that we don't do, not the things that we did to cause harm. The things that we do that cause harm are really rare. I mean, they're really, it's awesome. They're really rare. It's rare that we give a medication that someone's allergic to. It's rare that we do the wrong operation. It's rare that we mislabel things. Now, all of that stuff has been fixed. People have done an amazing job. But there's a whole chunk of things over here amounting to the things that we don't do in time that are actually causing 80% or more of the harm right now. Yet, from a, from a mandatory reporting perspective and from a governmental perspective, they're still mandating we work on the things that are really rare. So part of getting to the safety learning system is actually taking the knowledge that we're learning around the omissions, the things that we can do better, the things that all of us can do better, and actually raising awareness amongst our policymakers that there are some really cool things we can do on healthcare to make a difference for thousands of patients. Not the one in a million patient that has a certain adverse event happen, but the thousands of patients who walk into every single one of our doors every day.